All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another video. What the hell am I playing? This is Need for Speed 2015. Now, big old question. What happened to Need for Speed 2015? Now, the very, very short and simple answer is it got old. It just got old. Is It, it is a game that came out in 2015, believe it or not. I can't believe that 2016 is almost over. I honestly can't. But this is a game that came out last year. It came out almost one year ago. I'm pretty sure it's almost one year ago. I think this game came out in November. So basically as games do they get old but i feel that this game got older um or i feel that this game got old kind of a little bit further back um when uh, i don't know which race which one was it that i used to do i tried to figure out this one this is the one that i used to do uh how do i go here do i just teleport yeah there we go so basically this game i feel that it got old once the drag update came out i think after that just a little bit after that, it started to get, like, stale. So, basically, that's pretty much where we are with that. Now, the thing is, this game doesn't have enough content. This game doesn't have enough content. I remember uh, Forza Horizon 2. I still play that game once, uh, just all the way up until Forza 6 came out. Like, all the way up until Forza 6 came out. And, like, that's a year later. That's that's so, so much more than, than this, for example. Like, I played this game... For a good few months, but I like, I don't know. I just could not play this game after the uh, after the drag update. There was nothing to do in this game, nothing at all. And like, just because they introduced a couple of like drag races and stuff like that, that doesn't mean that the game is gonna get like, like repopulated again by people that just want to do drag drag races the entire time. I'm having a stroke while speaking, but uh, you guys know what I mean. Like, the game just doesn't have enough content. Like, I feel that the map is, it's just not big enough to be honest. And. Uh, I feel that with a bigger map, I think it would have it made a, a lot more sense. And they just don't have the stuff that they promised us. Like, I think we were promised, like, so many more updates... Or, sorry, upgrades, not updates. So many more upgrades for our cars. And we barely have any. Like, thinking about it, like, we barely... Like, for some of the cars that aren't even customizable at all. Like, what's the point of putting a car into the game? Especially a Need for Speed game. Where you're supposed to be able to tune and modify and everything. Especially a game like this, which is sort of, you know, based on the underground scene. Uh, where you just go street racing at night time and stuff like that, which I understand what the whole like night thing is about I understand that like it never actually goes into daylight in this game, which is fine All right, I under I understand that it's supposed to be the whole underground scene It's supposed to be all like street racing at night and and all that stuff, but I keep thinking I'm in Forza right now They keep driving on the left side of the road uh, But yeah, like I said, it's just not enough content in this game and I, I don't know how they decided to sort of ship out a game like this and then just decide, you know what, that's enough content. But they didn't. They brought out a couple of more updates with a few more things for the game and that still didn't really bring it back to life to be honest because I just feel like they kind of failed with this game. They could have done so much better. I honestly feel that they could have done so much better with this game. I just don't think that the original crew are working anymore. The people that worked on, on Need for Speed Underground 1 and 2 and all that sort of stuff and even Most Wanted because pretty much those times there were like the best years for Need for Speed. I, I haven't played a Need for Speed before that. I think I've actually played a Hot Pursuit before that actually. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when that was, but I think I played it and uh, like that it was it was okay, I guess. It, it just wasn't that much fun and like once it got into Undercover and all those other games, even Undercover wasn't that bad, but like once it got up to those, it's just Need for Speed started to go kind of downhill. They kind of went back to their roots where like it all had like supercars and stuff like that because the underground scene was kind of over. It was that was like back in the early 2000s, and that's pretty much it. You know, that's when the all the Fast and Furious films came out, the, especially the first few of them. Uh, you know, the Fast and the Furious and Too Fast and Furious. That's that was still the whole underground scene and stuff like that. But you know, not much else was happening then, and uh, I feel that the uh, that the underground series like just kicked this game off for so many people and. Like you pretty much started their love for cars with with those uh, with those couple of games, and you know having a game like like uh, Need for Speed 2015 come out, which was basically supposed to be like an Underground 3, I feel like they kind of failed us. To to be honest, I feel like they could have done so much better. I honestly do. I feel like they could have brought back so many cool things. Like the the modification in this game is like really shit, and the car the car selection is also also pretty bad. I feel like they could have done a lot better with that. Why don't Why don't you just add more? Like, I don't want to have, like, supercars and hypercars in a, in a video game like this. Okay, I don't think they have any hypercars in a game like this. Uh, but they have, like, supercars. They have so many supercars. Like, this is an underground series. Like, I don't know. I honestly don't know what else I could say about this. I mean, 
it just died because there's not enough, enough content on the game. And, uh, like I said, they could have done a lot better with it. Now, customization for some of the cars is pretty sick. Like, this RX-7, you can do a bunch of stuff to this thing. It's pretty good. For some of the cars, you can't do anything to. And it doesn't make sense for them to be added in a game like this. And, uh... Yeah, the story was alright. I feel like it was a little bit cringy at times, but, I mean, it was okay. It was, you know, it was all acted. Okay, let me talk about the graphics. Like, the graphics... The graphics, to me don't play a massive, massive role in video games anymore. They used to, sort of, because, you know, back then, you know, the PlayStation 3 came out after the PlayStation 2, and you are like, oh my god, the graphics look insane. And then as soon as the PlayStation 4 came out, and you were able to see, like, the graphics improvements from the PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, they looked amazing. But, I mean, now graphics don't really mean anything. Now that we're in... We're decently in like the the lifespan of uh, of the new consoles and now that we have PCs that can run fucking crazy resolutions and crazy detail I just I don't really care for graphics anymore e Like saying that the graphics in this game do look fantastic. They look very 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 good If you go into like photo mode or whatever and you zoom into into anything Like you don't see proper pixels, but you see like just so much detail and it, it looks very very good like the the, the detail in this game that just the graphics overall in this game look very, very good. Um, some people didn't really like the whole just nighttime thing. I honestly didn't really care for it. It was kind of annoying that it was constantly raining every, like, fucking five minutes, but... You know, it was a whole, like, nighttime thing, and I know that what they were trying to go for. They were trying to, like, copy Need for Speed Underground. Which is good, right? Which is good, because I like the whole street racing at night thing. But, um, yeah. Now, the physics... I honestly don't feel that the physics were up to par either. I feel like they had a mind of their own. I feel like they were a little bit delayed as well. Like, I'm trying to counter steer, but it already does it for me. And it just feels weird for me to just let go and, like, not correct anything. And do not Like, look at that. <laughs> like, I didn't do anything there. I just turned into the corner and then ex I accelerated. Like, I, I barely counter steered. And then I only did it at the end just so I could straighten out again. Like, it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, the physics in this game, and some of the characters just have, like, ridiculous physics, like the the crazy, like, drag hot rod thing, that's just, it's, it's, it's mental. I don't know what the hell that thing is supposed to be, but it's just absolutely mental with the, with the physics on it. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it on this game. So what happened to the game? It died out. It died out a little bit earlier than it should have. I honestly feel Project Cars died out a lot earlier than this. I feel that people still play Project Cars every now and then because it's a, like kind of like an all right simulator. But, um... Yeah, this game just uh, kind of flopped a little bit, I'm gonna say. But uh, it was fun when it first came out. It was definitely fun to play when it first came out, but... I feel like it still had a lot of, uh, a lot of mistakes in it and bugs and stuff like that. Like the gears, for example, I, I don't think for this car... Yeah, for this car as well, watch. If I go to 5th, and then change to 5th, there is no, or from 5th to 6th, there is no difference in gears, at all. So I don't understand why this car has 6 gears, 8 gears, sorry. Why does this car have 8 gears? Why do the race transmissions in this game have 8 gears? It just does not make sense, because 6th and 5th are indifferent. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you everybody for watching this video, hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's just me talking a little bit about this game and kind of what happened to it because I just feel like... I feel like they could have done more. I feel like they, they could have made this game, like, stay up there. Also, one last point I'm gonna make is people complaining about DLCs and stuff like that. I think DLCs help a game's lifespan. I honestly do. I think that because this game didn't have enough DLC, I think they came out with updates for like three or four months in a row and then it just didn't do anything else. And the updates weren't really, like, that game-breaking or that game-changing. So, I think they brought out a couple of updates and that was it. I mean, they wanted to bring out, like, free updates instead of you guys paying for DLC, which makes sense, but, like, I honestly feel that DLC content helps a game's lifespan. I honestly do. I know it's kind of a rip-off that you guys, like, that people make a game, then you guys have to buy the game and then have to pay extra for a DLC and, like, for every single month or whenever it comes out, but... It kind of helps the game. It helps. It helps people play the uh, the developers' games. So honestly, it kind of helps. Which this game didn't have pretty much any DLC whatsoever. It just had a couple of updates, and that's it. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully, you've enjoyed today's video. If you have any thoughts or anything on this game, like anything different that that what I've said, leave it down in the comments below. I'm glad to uh, to listen to you guys and see what you guys have to say. But 
yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'll talk to you guys next time. Goodbye.